Well, I think when we evoke a word like soul, it makes me think of how we talk about religion, actually. And I'm a believer that, well, not necessarily a believer, but I'm a believer that religion is a fungible thing. And that spirituality and belief manifest in a variety of different ways. So that people who are religious have led some of the most courageous, dynamic, unparalleled movements of physical courage in human history. Mm. And also religion can be a vehicle of some of the most repressive, toxic, and cruel ideologies imaginable. So I think the soul of the Democratic Party is in some respects what we choose it to be. Is it Bill Clinton? <laughs> or is it you know, Fannie Lou Hamer, mm -hmm. right? These are both parts of the soul of the political party in this country that is the potential vehicle of labor, of the left, of justice, of love, of dignity, and so on. So I choose to have a certain vision of the Democratic Party because I want to make that enacted and real in the world. So. I think we have to, and that is why it's important for all of the flaws and all of the complexities, we need to own the FDR traditions to the ways in which it was liberatory. We need to connect it, obviously, with people like Debs or Lincoln who weren't Democrats. And I think we need to globalize it. I think I just came back from interviewing President Lula in Brazil. That's the soul of the Democratic Party that I want. And so I think that's what we're trying to do. I think we are trying to, this fight is not only material, it's ideological, and it's for a certain ethic. And on the left, we're not necessarily comfortable with talking like that, but you put it in the question, so there it is. 